Okay, so the first thing you see is, yeah, there is a bit of rippling here, and they're kind of tightish. One solution is to downsize you and use silicone implants, mm. which would be 50% smaller because they only make 800cc silicone implants. All right, Cindy, should we go to the operating room tomorrow, downsize you and put an 800cc silicone and have loose skin and be much smaller? No. Yeah. How about we just spray tan it so we can't see it anymore? <laughs> right. Sounds good to me. That's an easy fix. <laughs> I like that. So you had a bump. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. Huge bump. Um, on a petite face. Yes, and it was thicker too. Was it straight? It was. So when I was 16, we went to an ENT because I had a serious sinus infection, mm -hmm. and he looked at me and was like, I can do something about that. Christy, what are your goals? I hate to say, I mean, I'm a semi-vain person, so it's like, okay, do I trade a good cosmetic outcome and still not be able to breathe? I probably would. So, you know, I just would like it straight. Yeah. There's stuff going on with the tip, but I do not want a wider nose, if that's possible. When patients dictate what you should do, it's scary. So am I a little bit worried about working with Christy? Absolutely. It's better to have a little wider, straight nose versus a skinny, crooked nose. Okay. What Dr. Nassif is describing scares me because the grafts that he would have to use could make my nose thicker or wider. And I know for sure that's one of the things I do not want. I really wanna take everything that you told me, look at some before and after pictures. And if I do move forward, I 100% trust that what you do is going to be perfect. Well, let me stop you there. Okay. The P word, we hate you the just P, use word. A P word. Yes, that is true. Yeah, okay. That that's is not gonna happen. Good. Yeah. We're talking about, God willing, a good improvement. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. A lot of wisdom. Thank you so Pleasure. much. Pleasure. Before my surgery, my nose was a real fixer upper. I had a deficit on the right, a crooked tip, and the columella hung too low. My nose was a hot mess. And I absolutely refused to get any new photos taken for my real estate business. But now, thanks to Dr. Nassif, my nose is straight. It fits my face perfectly. And it just makes me feel so excited for all the years to come that I get to live with my new nose. My name is Bruno, and I have two squishy, enormous bumps on my chest. When I, I run, I, they, they kind of make me make. I was born and raised in Lisbon, Portugal, and I started surfing around eight. Not too many years after I started, noticing the bumps. I did CT scan, I did an ultrasound, doctor after doctor in Portugal and the US, and <laughs> never seen this. We have no idea what it is. This one, it's soft oh and it's distinct from the rib too. This one looks bigger, this one is bigger. than this one. So when you're lying down sometimes, it probably goes yes. right oh, over. Yeah. And that's when it hurts? Yeah. These masses feel like balls of fat. I've never seen anything like this before. And I think it's paradoxical fatty hyperplasia. I think most doctors, like Dr. Nassif, would think it's a lipoma. I think that's second on the list. And then there's a third oma that's possible called a fascinoma where we don't know what it is, but it's totally fascinating. fascinating. Either way, it has to be operated on to remove it. We do a tummy tuck. You make an incision, lift it up, take the whole thing out and pull down the excess skin. And in your case, the advantage of that is that all of this would be gone. The skin would be all tight. I never imagined I would get a tummy tuck. I am very excited. Now I'm gonna get some breast implants and pointy ears. <laughs> Before my surgery, I had two huge masses on my chest, but now, thanks to Dr. Dubrow, the masses have been removed, the pain is gone, and I can now enjoy the sport I love. Dr. Dubrow and Dr. Nassif, uh, they changed my life for the better. I cannot thank them enough.